Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for Wednesday the 24th of March 2021 for, the, for all signs. So uh, let's see what we get. So what is the daily message please? What is the daily message people need to hear the most? Wednesday the 24th okay thank you okay so i have family this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart surround this person yourself and the experience with calming blue light and many angels be open to the gifts within this situation and allow yourself to feel peace <coughs> something to do with family uh, okay, let's pull some cards and see what we get. What do we have, please? Angels, spirits, guides for the day. What is the message for the day, please? I'll just do one more shuffle. message for Wednesday the 24th of March 2021 thank you <clears throat> what do people need to hear the most I like the first card to drop out as you all know okay so there's two cards there I'm going to literally put them out like this okay so we have the two of cups the four of cups and the knight of wands Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, and we have the Four of Swords, bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Swords. So cards on the table, for those of you you might be relevant for, I've got Capricorn here, male or female energy, Knight of Wands is Sagittarius, and we've got Gemini with the Lovers. And something to, it feels for some of you. Two of Cups is an energy of an it can be an offer or an invitation but it's mutually exclusive between these two people so they exchange their cups with each other it, it is re-establishment of the bond it definitely feels in this respect if there has been conflict with family for example it feels that there is an opportunity to make peace re-establish the balance reconnection to each other um, this can be a card of reconciliation now it could well be with a queen of pentacles or you know male or female energy this is generally capricorn for me as a reader um, but she is she's a grounding energy as well and she's also a nurturing energy so she, as an energy she represents healing so it definitely feels in this situation with regard to some kind of conflict or fallout or disagreement. It says, help you to understand and heal. This is, a, it feels for someone, there is a reestablishment of the bond here. Now, the Four of Cups is an interesting one because with the lovers, it feels to do within a relationship. Um, so partner, uh, spouse, I mean, call it what you will. It feels that this is to do with a relationship here where there's an opportunity to grow and heal and find stability again. And you're being told here with this Four of Cups, somebody might be offering you this. It might well be somebody wants to make peace or you want to make peace with somebody. If you're being offered it, give it due consideration. Remember, this is the Divine Nudge card. You need to take serious attention of this cup that's being offered to you here, this opportunity. 
um, because the lovers can be to do with a choice or decision, to do with what you're being offered or you offering some kind of apology or peace offering to somebody now. Remember, the lovers can represent a partnership, two people. Um, again, there's definitely an energy, if it feels to do with some kind of relationship here. Because the only thing that's going to block this happening with the eight is the eight of swords, which is inhibited thinking through negative thoughts, you know, um, putting up your own barriers or limitations, mental barriers, mental limitations, how you're perceiving something right now could block progress. And yet recovery is definitely open to you. And that's what the Four of Swords is saying. We have two fours in the reading and fours are all about finding stability, a foundation once more. So there's definitely opportunities maybe being offered to you here to find some kind of restabilizing of a relationship. And the message is you need to take serious attention to either offering this or accepting this. Because the Knight of Wands is a wonderful energy of change. It's a good feel good energy as well, you know, the, the Knight of Wands. Um, very upbeat, very driven. But the Knight of Wands is there's an opportunity to recover and put something behind you and move on. And I'm definitely getting that in this energy with the Knight of Wands. Progress is open to you. Um, also about inspired action, doing something about it, um, taking the lead, going for something. It's the green light now to put a difficult situation behind you. It feels like now is the right opportunity here. It definitely feels like recovery is open to you and it's to do with some kind of, it feels more like to do with a relationship here. Um, I mean, obviously that could be affecting you, your family, but it, it definitely feels in this instance, uh, it, it feels more to do with an immediate spouse or immediate partner here. Maybe there were there's some been some disagreement or you might not be seeing eye to eye. It feels like there is an opportunity for some peace offering and recovery. But this this eight of swords can block that happening if you're not careful. Uh, the way we perceive something, we can put up our own barriers by focusing on the negative, by blocking the recovery coming our way. So, yeah, there's just an energy of just be careful of that. Because that Eight of Swords is how the mind can keep us prisoners and stunt our progress. Yeah, I think that's what I have for the day. Let's pull a final card. Final message. Yeah, you see, moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. I also feel in this situation, it is finding that moderate way through. I mean, it's very Sagittarian energy. We've got Sagittarius here. The way you find the way through and put something behind you is to do things with moderation. You know, moderation in all things. Again, this can be an, a bit of an extreme energy to do with the mind, how we perceive something, focus on the negative. It can stunt us moving forward. So this is about just keeping that happy medium perspective. And it definitely feels in this energy, there's progress available to you when you do. You can put behind you a difficult situation and move on. Let's put one more fairy card. One more fairy card, please. Thank you. Yeah. So I have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Yeah. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. I mean, it feels definitely this can be about finding answers, wisdom, knowledge. 
it's a lovely lovely energy here of healing and you know the queen of pentacles nurturing energy you know you can see the abundance the growth things flourishing around her by that nurturing energy so it definitely feels focus on what's important um definitely an energy to bring growth to a situation now so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful a wonderful day for you all and i will see you next time thank you